In AutoCAD 2011, polyline and spline objects have been updated to enable quick and intuitive editing. If you want to add vertices to an existing polyline, there's no need to access the pEdit command. Simply hover over a nearby grip and choose the Add option from the menu. A plus sign at the cursor reminds you that you're adding a vertex. It's just as easy to remove vertices. And you can even use the grip menu to convert between arc and line segments. The process of creating and editing spline objects in AutoCAD 2011 has also been streamlined. You'll save several clicks when creating a spline because AutoCAD automatically determines the beginning and ending tangent directions based on your picks. You can easily modify the tangent directions by hovering over the beginning or ending grips. You can add and remove points for splines, just as you can for polylines. A menu grip allows you to quickly change the method by which the spline is defined, fit points or control vertices. When using the control vertices method, an additional grip option enables you to refine vertices, which replaces the original vertex with two vertices. Depending which method is applied to the spline object, you'll find options for controlling knot parameterization, specifying the polynomial degree, and adding kinks. In addition to these many improvements, the Join option in Polyline and Spline Editing Tools, as well as the Join command itself, allows you to join contiguous splines and polylines. You can also join 3D polylines, helices, lines, and arcs. The trick is to select the most complicated object, like a spline or helix, first.